Good morning, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel and welcome to another day of triathlon training. Just been for a swim, as you can probably tell. And you know what? That wasn't bad. So last week I tried to do one set of intervals. I did three times 100 meter efforts. One was 141 and then the other two were 140 and it absolutely wiped me out. Well today I've done the same thing and it still wiped me out, but that's why I'm slightly faster. So I did it three 100s in the middle of like a steady swim. Uh, what was it 136 135 134 so really really chuffed with that it's still a little way off like my fastest swim from like a couple of years ago but even still it will be like three weeks back in now i'm not too happy with that too, too unhappy with that at all actually um after that i did about four or five hundred meters just steady swimming and i really felt like my arms are gone like i swim through tree course so i didn't want to put myself in a hole and just continue to swim badly uh, so i did 1300 meters in total so not a bad swim, not quite the 2k that I've been getting in just steady swimming, but I think as I'm ramping up some of the intensity, I can't expect to keep that same amount of total volume, but I'll look to build on that in the next few weeks. So today I think is actually a treble training day, so I should see you for a lunchtime run. See you there. Here we go then, lunchtime run. I'm feeling good to be honest. So yesterday, although I did a long run, it was quite easy, so I feel quite fresh. My heart rate is quite high, not worryingly high, but a little bit higher than I'd hope, but I'm probably running a little bit faster than I hoped as well. But I'm just enjoying it, just stretching the legs out a little bit. And on the flat bits, just trying to get into a, a pace which I think I might run out longer. Oh, it's windy, you know, in like a in a race situation or whatever. But anyway, I'll put the stats on the screen from today's run, and then and I'll see you on the bike tonight for the club ride. And for honest, I'm not sure whether to try and hang on to the nutcases or drop down a group and have a bit more of a tempo ride. I don't know, I'll see how we get on. I'll see you later. Oh, my second favorite time of the day now, bike ride time. Favorite time of the day being nap time. Anyway, get out of the club tonight. It's gonna to be about 3,000 feet of climbing, probably about 30 miles. Some nice sort of climb, so I will stick the camera on the front of the bike and we'll have a quick discussion about how I got dropped this week, shall we? Enjoy that. So I'm out tonight on the climbing canyon. Main reason being, I don't want to keep riding my air road. First, because I don't want to put a load of wear and tear on it. But secondly, it's only got a 28% and I need a 32. <clears throat> I have, however, fixed the god awful creek on this bike. I took the bottom bracket out again, just chucked loads of grease at it. It already had grease on, put it back together, and now it's absolutely silent. So, goodness knows what that was. Also, I had to put a different front tire on because when I had double puncture at the weekend, it was basically because my tyre had a cut in it months ago. I just dubbed a lot of super, super glue on it, just to make sure nothing got through the you know, through the cut, through to the inner tube again. And um, well, I hadn't gone through to the inner tube, but then the super glue had eventually pushed through the braiding of the tyre. It was actually the super glue that pierced the inner tube. So yeah, that was that. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Okay, so let's have a look at the ride. It's actually the next morning now. When I got home last night, I felt absolutely drained. I felt like I was 90% better from this cold, but I don't think I actually was. Anyway, going up a hill, so I'd already been dropped by. Now, Jane, Triple Brutal James tells me that I can't call the groups the first group and the second group, so he's going to push me off a bike if I do. Um, I was with the riders that were in the first, I don't know, whatever, first group, and then I got dropped pretty early on. Uh, so I rode with the second group because I told the lads I was going to drop back. So I, was, I knew that getting dropped in the first three or four miles on the little rolling climbs, I was going to struggle later on. So, and even in this group, this is still, this is still hard. I'm doing like, here we go, like, you know, 380, 400 watts up this climb here, just to try and hang on to the guys. It's a bit more, it's a bit more chilled in between climbs with these guys, a bit more chatting, a bit more, a bit, a little bit easier, but the climbs are just as hard because I'm having to work just as hard to get up like at the, you know, the fastest pace I can. But, um, so the great bunch. Nice little descent here. This is what it's all about. The Derbyshire Lane to me. Really, really nice. There's another group there. Uh, so it's with South Normanton Cycling Club. I think there were three or four groups out on that evening. Uh, that was a steadier group that do a slightly shorter route. So then they still get the same sort of time riding out. They're just kind of, kind of a bit less mileage. That lad has just sprinted past Lewis. He's not been with the club very long. He's interested in getting racing. And like I said to him, uh, we're always on the lookout for people who want to race, want to take part in cycling, but especially those that do cheeky little attacks like that perfect exactly what we need in our groups so uh, yeah good to see that uh, if you're feeling good you've got the opportunity go for it 
This climber coming up now is called Foxholes. I hadn't done it before, and uh, the club secretary who makes the routes was very excited about sending us up on these climbs. So normally that means that it's absolutely hell. So you can see here, I'm doing like yeah, about 450 watts just to, just to keep moving. That's Richard on the right there. He uh, spends half the night taking photos, so it's nice he's actually concentrating on pedaling. But a classic Derbyshire lane climb, you know, gravelly potholes really narrow like if a car came down there's no space for us both uh super steep but um yeah just just grinding out just trying to get up to the top uh the creaking in my bottom bracket did come back halfway through the ride not quite as bad but it was still there so uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do about that perhaps get a new bike i'm joking that's not happening liz I'm, honestly it's not happening um, but yeah, nice climb. It was probably the, the toughest climb I've done for a little while. It peaked at about 22%, I think, so it was pretty pretty savage indeed. Uh, I'm grateful for my 32 cassette at times, and that was definitely one of those times. Just cresting it now, thank goodness. I think the next clip is of, of one of us going downhill. There we go. Yeah, so this, I mean, this, oh, it's just awesome. It's good to take it a little bit steady every now and again and look up and look around and look where you're actually riding because to think this is on our doorstep is incredible. Uh, next week, I should have been in Mallorca, and I've been a bit miserable, miserable about it, but actually, I've got all this on my doorstep. It is forecast rain all week, but I'm going to try and get out and enjoy it as much as I can, because this is just awesome. I'm so, so glad we moved out this way. Looking forward to riding a bit more in the Derbyshire area. But that is it for today's video, so thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you tomorrow at 4pm for sort of like a pre-race day video, I think. A bit of like a bit of a taper session and a bit of a bike fiddle ahead of a TT, I think. See you then.